Yeah, you know, I, I, I have to apologize. Like, I went to the store even though I was unclean, you know. It's like, it was a heavy period, I'm telling you, like really heavy. So, um, so you, you people just come at me or something and then I'd be like, hey, look, um, I was just there, like, I was there to nose around, but most importantly, because I remember the roll on, you know, the moi roll on that I think I might want it to sometimes, um, sometimes to modify my scent. You know, I, I like applying certain creams and oils onto my body, like to, 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 to change my scent. Like some, some animals, they, they sometimes, they would smell and see, oh, look, it's different. But you know what? Um, the squirrels, yeah? If you, if you believe that my scent attracts animals, I can tell you this though, right? Um, most animals, their senses of smell, yeah, are overrated. You know, the, the, yeah, I can tell you, I was the one feeding the wild squirrels. They, they were sniffing and sniffing, but they didn't find the food. Like most of them didn't, okay, unless they were trained to do so. Yeah, I was like, you gotta get the answer right. I just put my hand here, the food was there. Most of them did not know like the food was right there. They were sniffing, they were looking, they didn't see it, they were touching. They were like, oh, there's food. You know, yeah, the, the peanuts. Yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, yeah, the animals, they do have acute sense of smell, but it's not as acute as you think it is. It's not like, oh, I can smell this guy from miles away and then, and then I'm gonna run over here and then sniff you or something it's like um no reality is not like that you know that's what i'm saying it's not all about scent yeah i, I told you as i told you before animals they see the world they perceive the world in a different way from us yeah and it's not all about smell i don't know who go who gave you that idea but that idea is outdated i believe because animals they have all sorts of senses not just the sense of smell yeah, the cats. You know what? There, there was, there was an, there, there was literally like um, an assessment or something, where dogs and cats were tested. They were testing. Um, I believe the scientists were testing their senses, right? Um, the cat was smelling, and then the the food was right there, like under somewhere underground, I believe. And then it was, it was, it was like really, really like it's not really deep underground. It's right there. But the cat was sniffing around and it couldn't tell it's really underground, like, um, it couldn't. But the, but the dogs could, so in other words, the dogs had, like, more acute sense of scent, uh, it's a sense of smell. But I'm just telling you this, yeah, they, they, they ain't gonna smell you that easily. They had to, you, even the dogs, they had to come over all the way really close and then they, they would sniff my butt. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the dogs, right? They could, of course, they could smell from 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 like very far away, but then they would just like humans, when we want to see something, like for example, those words, right? So I see attic, right? But if I want to make sure that that's really what I'm seeing, I gotta move up closer and look at it. You know, that's how it is. Dogs are like this as well. They smell from far away, and then they'd be like, okay, let's make sure this is where the source is and they didn't come over and then they, they're gonna smell like really close they, they're gonna smell our butts like very close like I, to, like I told you before yeah animals and people we are, we, we are similar in a way that um, if we wanted to make sure that we like make sh ensure that our senses are correct we move closer to the object yeah Where, whether we are doing it by vision like visual auditory or, 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 or like olfactory, what, what, what's that called? Um, yeah, so if I, sm if I smell something I'm not really sure about the source or something, or if I, if I want to smell it more clearly, I've got to move closer to the source and smell it. And if I want to see something, like if I see something, it's like, oh, look, um, there it is. I want, I, I, I want to get closer to ensure that I'm seeing it. You know, I've got to come closer to see the details and stuff like that. Okay, and it's the same for um, hearing as well. Like if, I, if, if, you, if you shout something at me from very far away and I'd be like, I'm not really clear what you were saying, right? Yeah. Maybe I could be right. Like I, I'm just, I just jong or something. Okay, it's like, oh, 
I thought you were telling me this. You know, the instructor shouting instructions from 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 there, and then I'd be riding a horse, and I'd be I'd be literally cantering here, and then and and then, and then she's shouting from there. I was like, oh, I'm not sure. Let's just move closer and find out what she's saying. Um, it's the same. Humans and animals, so they're gonna move closer. Yeah, the closer they move towards the source, the more accurate they become. It, it's all. It's. It, I, I think that's always the case. Yeah. So you see me. I. I. I go. I. I go to like. Um, I. I told you before. I, I got a heavy. Like I got a heavy period. It was day one, but then it was kind of heavy. You know, I can smell it. Yeah. The blood looks dark. You know, that's the thing. And I'd be like. Just don't, don't like 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 you you know that 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 wasn't like the best of days, but I was just there to get like the 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 moy cream or whatever. You I was I was gonna be I, I was gonna be gone after I got the stuff, yeah. But uh, yeah, I, I mean I don't know why Tristan was doing this. I think he was just, I think he was just poking me. I don't know. <laughs> it's so funny. It's like it's like oh I I I know there's something that I I know there's something you're hiding or something. Let me move closer. And poke you. I was like, oh, come here at your own risk. I, 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 I was unclean. That's what I said. I'm still unclean. That's why I'm like, don't, just don't come too close. You know, that, that's the thing. Um, when I'm unclean, the, the Bible said so as well. It's, 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 it's unwise for the man to come close when I'm unclean. So um, you wouldn't like to smell the thing. That's why you don't want to see the blood. You don't want to smell the blood. Um, you gotta stay away when I'm really unclean. So you can, you can, you can, you can look at me from like maybe a distance, uh, from from there, you know. Or you you can talk to me like maybe from 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 there. Like you can shout stuff, but don't come too close because um, I'm unclean. <laughs> it's true. Like with those days, you know. <laughs> yeah. So I I did go out there to find like material, and I I did find one DVD. It's on. Um, it is 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 basically a nature DVD with archaeology in it. So yeah, like they the the I think I think it was David Attenborough. Yeah, I I believe it was David Attenborough was searching for dragons and unicorns in the West. Yeah, um, I I'm I'm sorry, Tristan. I mean, I'm really I'm really sorry, Tristan. It, it was not the best time. Okay, I know I, I was leaving like a really bad impression or something. Um, Screw that! <laughs> Screw that! All right, like um, you can you can forget about it. Yeah, I I'll, I'll just keep on manifesting stuff. Um, you can you can you can you, you know what? I I was unclean. I'm still unclean. So um, yeah, like like I said, I don't I don't know why. Like he was just you know Tristan was just poking me when I was um, when I was unclean. I'm still unclean. Like I said, don't come too too close. Um, I, I don't regret going there because I still needed the, the cream because I, I wouldn't know if the cream would still be there if I go there tomorrow or the day after tomorrow you never know yeah it, it wasn't the cream it was initially the roll on but then I saw the cream and then the cream seemed to be like um, it's less expensive and there's more of it so yeah why, why not try the cream first you know if, if I liked it I, m I might do I, I might get the roll on as well but um Obviously, I, I gotta, I gotta, I, I gotta mix the scent up a little bit. So um, let's see how the animals would react to it. You know, <laughs> yeah, um, I'm having fun with life. You know, um, the great outdoors. The animals are calling me. Um, look, look at this, look at this. So what am I doing here in the mall? Um, I just wanna <laughs> upload my stuff. That's why I'm here. And also because I need to use the toilet. <laughs> yeah, so that's 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 why I'm in here. But um, yeah, I, I mean, it, the the store does not have to be local. I mean, it's more it's more convenient if it's local. But um, it doesn't have to be local. Like if I if I if I really 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 truly want something, like I I want it very much, I'll I'll relocate for it. You know, it, it's 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 the truth. It is the truth. Like if I if I strongly desire something, if I really desire something, I'm gonna relocate for it. And I believe it is a masculine thing. I, I mean, is I, I don't know. Like, um, are you like I don't know if you would call me masculine, but I think men. Yeah. If if a man truly wants something, like if he really wants something, he will pursue it. He will go get it. You know, that's the thing. Like so, I can I can tell. Like I can I can tell that. Um, None of the men, like none of the men, really want me that much. Like if he, 
if they if they tr if they truly and deeply want me to the point where um, to 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 the, to the point where they just can't do without me they gotta have me um, they're gonna they 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 they're, they're gonna run for miles to get me that's the thing because um, obviously this man this man that I really want this man that I really want does not exist in this world. I, th I think I think he might be a resident of some other world. You know, I gotta create him from scratch. I think because obviously now um, you're asking me about Tristan. I'd be like, well, he's an existing person. You know, I, I I don't know if I've created him or something, but he's an existing person. So since 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 he's an existing person, you know, he has his own free will and he might like something or he might not. Yeah, like he, he might like something or he might not, not but um, you know, why, why, don't I create, why don't I just create my own fictional character um, and then I'm going to interact with him in, in another dimension or whatever you like, not, not, in, not in this dimension because um, this dimension is simply like a foundation for me. It's like, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to touch things, see things, smell things, hear things. And then it's gonna help me manifest and immer like immerse myself in an environment, and help me manifest my own world. But yeah, this is just this just forms the basis of my creation. Okay, so um, if I if I always go out, or even if I don't go out, I watch relevant material and I read relevant material and I listen to re relevant material. I, only I myself. Yeah, only I myself is the judge of whether something, like I am the judge of whether something's relevant to my goals. You know, that's how it is. It's my, it's, you know what, I am the one setting my own goals. And then I, I'm the one who is supposed to fulfill my own goals. I'm the one living my own life. I need to believe it. Nobody can grade me. Yeah, nobody can grade me because this is my life and I'm living it. Yeah, because I'm, I'm living this life. Okay, I'm living this life. Yeah, nobody's gonna live this life for me. I'm gonna live it myself. This mission is unique to me. Okay, so I'm gonna fulfill it anyway, right? I gotta, I gotta find the relevant material, and then I gotta continue, continue the research, and then there will be a way that I could manifest immortality for everyone I touch. You know, <laughs> the thing. Yeah, so. Don't be hostile. Cease being hostile because if you're hostile, I can't help you. You know, if you if you oppose me, that's the thing. It's like, why why do be why do people need economy? Why do people need money? Why do people need to work? Like, why do people need money? Like, why do people need all these things? Because people need to live. <laughs> it, the, the 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 most basic yeah, the most basic level of understanding. People want to live. Everything is for life. Everything is for life. But if you're immortal, do you need money? No. If you're immortal, do you need friends? Not really, no. <laughs> if you're immortal, you don't need anything. But you can want things. They are desires, but they are not necessities. You can do without it because you will never die. It's that simple. Immortality is the key. I'm going to keep manifesting. Don't stop me. Sorry, do not stop me.